Now we are pretty much where we left off at the end of the last episode. One of the viewers was wondering, do you have these flutes facing forwards or backwards? And I thought they should probably face like that. But I also mentioned that if it hangs right the first time, it would be a fluke. Um, well, I thought it was funny. Okay, let's reposition the camera here and see if we can wrap this around the uh, capson and uh, see how it would look. Now I want to try and have it here so that there's no twist on the chain. It's going to just lay on the waist nice and flat. Then grab it down here maybe. Okay, something like that looks pretty good to me. It doesn't appear like there's a twist in it. Now let's just uh, move this down just a little bit here so that it is just just above the boot line I, I think that looks pretty good myself you know what if it was if it was up just another couple of links then the uh, shackle would be against the side of this hose pipe fairing and it would have a tendency to always stay straight. Let's just see what would happen here. Is my thinking okay on that or am I thinking backwards here? No, it's not working. Okay, if I can get it so one of the links is against the fairing. I suppose I can always, if, if it's really, really bad when it comes to mounting it in the in the uh, case, I can always just, you know, put a little bit of glue somewhere. Uh, okay. Well, let's just reposition and get the camera out of my way here. I've got it tangled up around some little parts here. Okay. Maybe I'll just let it hang over the side there. Put a little bit of tension on. Now, does that still look flat? down just a little bit. Not too hard. Now I know we did CA that link up there, but it appears to me as it like it's loose. So uh, obviously I didn't do it very good. Okay, we're gonna have to go back a couple of notches here. that look. Well, like I say, we can always straighten that later. Okay, I think that's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's just about right. Alright, so if I was to cut it off now, about a quarter of an inch this side of this part here where it has to go down no one will know that it doesn't go all the way down it's just supposed to have an illusion of going all the way down got some dust here 
Well, I guess I'll have to dust everything later. Okay, now this I think is about the right height. Okay. Now, cut that right about there. this down this hole. Maybe I'll uh, reposition the camera around so it should be looking this way and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, it, it just doesn't quite look like it's going down the hole. Looks like it's kind of bunched up there. I don't have enough light going on there. Maybe if I get the camera out of the way and put it on the other side. I do actually think we've got it. I think it's down the hole on the other side, on the inside. Now, while I was messing around here, I, I had a thought. And the thought was this. Well, actually two thoughts. Try not to poke this thing. Second thought is, what if I had to take a little piece of wire and, and fasten it like about an inch long or inch and a half long and fasten it on the end and then stuck the wire down the hole, then the weight of the wire would hold this nice and tight. Well, I mean, tight enough. I don't think I need to even put any glue on there. I think, I think it's going to want to stay there. That looks pretty natural to me. Now, now maybe this would be under tension right here. This, from here to here might be under tension. Um, in which case it would be a little straighter maybe. But it, it does look pretty good. I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull on the anchor here. Okay, I think that's locked in place there pretty good. Yeah, let's just leave well enough alone. Okay, we are now on the other side. It's the other side for a landlubber like me. I guess if you're a bit of a nautical person, you would call it the starboard side. We're going to do something a little bit different here. First of all, are we going to be lucky? Yes. There we go. Now, we won't need to cut the other end of this. We'll just let it go down the hole and where it, where it ends up down in the, in the hole, that's, that's fine. So I want to be careful I don't pull it all the way through here. And once again, I'm getting it tangled up on stuff. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I should have seen that coming. Now oh, there. Okay. Now... Maybe 
I'll just see if I get the end to catch on something here. That's not going to work. We'll get it yet, folks. Stay with me. Okay. There. Oh. That shouldn't damage anything. Now, I will move in in a minute here. I want to take this wire off of this end. The reason being, I'm going to use the black brass, or is it brass black? This stuff. And I want to darken this wire because instead of splitting the ring, I'm going to do as a couple of viewers suggested, just use the wire to fasten it onto the onto the clevis on the anchor. And I I think that thought did flash through my mind yesterday. But uh, I guess it didn't flash through long enough. Because I want our brass black to adhere, or rather uh, affect the brass as good as possible, I'm going to do the ultrasonic thing here. And this thing sometimes spits when I first turn it on. Let's see what happens here. I guess it would help if I plugged it in. Now let's try it again. I'm guessing about three minutes has passed here. No, I don't mind if I touch the ends because I'll be cutting them off anyway. Where the tweezers are catching it is probably where I'm actually going to be fastening the link. Could I do this more awkwardly? I'm sure I could if I tried. Okay, now how many of you are hoping that when I pull the tweezers out, it's no longer on the tweezers? Oh, sorry to disappoint you. Now this is the brass black that we used the other day. Well, I guess it's for what, two, three weeks ago now. And this originally was black or dark. And I've noticed it's clear now. And it looks like there's a a brass or something sediment in the bottom. Now does that mean that this stuff has lost its potency? Or does it just mean that the dark settled out of it? I was making a mistake before uh, when I was taking the part and dipping it directly into the bottle. I shouldn't have done that. No, it didn't seem to, to, uh, to affect anything. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Well, we'll just give that a few minutes. Now, I know I had said a few minutes, but about an hour has actually passed here. Okay, now I think if I'm careful, I'm not going to lose that blacking. Just go rinse that off on something. Well, that was just a big waste of time. You notice it's kind of dark right here and here. I set it down on my... My, on my cloth and I noticed that the black was coming off so I thought well I you know I can't have all that powder on there so I, when I went to wipe it off it just completely uh, you know turned back to its natural color 
I don't think there's any change at all. Uh, now, mind you, this is not brass. This is copper. Now, because trying to make this little copper link out of this piece of copper wire is was just too difficult to do on camera, I just went ahead and did it. But I'll stick the macro lens on and I'll show it to you. Now, before I paint this black, let me just get a little CA thin and see if I can get it to wick around. Okay, I think that's going to help keep the wire from unraveling. I've rigged up a sort of a makeshift jig here so that I can, you know, just carefully paint just that link and then flip it over and do the other side. Now I'm going to just try and carefully turn this here. It looks, uh, that looks a lot like a link to me. I think that came out really good. Now, before I get going here, I was thinking, okay, I'll probably be able to save another two inches of chain. Uh, off of the end of this maybe maybe three anyway it doesn't matter so what I got to thinking was I wonder how much chain I had left over from the Bismarck because I knew there was some and when I checked I found to my surprise there's there's a lot of chain and I thought my goodness did I forget to put a, a, a anchor chain on somewhere so I checked and all four anchors of the, the Bismarck has like the Bismarck had four it had one on each side of the bow here, and then one that came out here, then it had the stern anchor. And all four have chain. So uh, they gave us a lot of extra chain with the Bismarck kit. Um, with this one here, it looks like we're only going to have maybe about four or five inches over. Uh, anyway, let's just see what we can do here. Okay, we're going to go up just above the boot line, same as the other side. Not that you can see both sides at the same time. All right. So it has to go down this thing right here. So I'll cut it off about right there. We'll have a little extra piece of chain. And then I'm gonna fasten a piece of wire on the end to uh, help get it started down the hole. Let's try scissors this time. What happened there? Okay. I guess I should have used my my other nippers. Well, fortunately, I didn't break anything. Okay, I'm gonna try this again with the scissors. I, I think I know what was wrong. I was trying to cut it away out near the near the uh, end of the scissor here, and I should have been further back. So let's just. You can sort of see there where it was. Maybe I should double check 
You know Murphy's Law. Okay, it goes around here. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I could s just see it by eyeballing it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to hold it this time so that it shears better. There, it's better. All right. Now we'll fasten a little piece of wire on the end to go down the hole. Now the plan is that if I get this wire started down the hole, see those anchored in the right place? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, this goes around here. Now if I get the wire started down the hole, it should take the chain with it. There. I'll just put a little tension on my anchor here. I think that's pretty good. Now, how do we have a twist going on in this chain? Uh, no, it looks all right. All right. The anchors are done. Step 31. I'm afraid we're going to have to wind it up with today's video. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow in Step 31.